We are discussing the basic concept of time value of money, what is involved in that, and how do we calculate future and present values, and what is the crux of this whole discussion of time value of money. Why does value of money change? The simple answer is that it changes because of interest. But then there are questions about the value of money in terms of its purchasing power. If you look into economics, you will find that the value of money in terms of its purchasing power does not remain the same. Yani, aaj hum apne paison se ek given amount se jo kuch khareed sakte hain, kya ek saal baad bhi hum utni hi cheeze us paison se khareed sakenge? We see that it is not the case. That is, the value of money in terms of its purchasing power does not remain the same. And that is a question that needs to be answered. Uh, we have discussed that when we talk about time value of money, we say that it is basically the element of interest which changes the value of money. So when we are referring to the future value, we are saying that in the present value, some interest is added and hence we get a greater value which is the future value. And when we are referring to the present value with reference to a future value, what we say that we deduct interest out of that future value and we get the present value. But what about the purchasing power of money? And what about the devalue of devaluation of money? What about depreciation of money? These are the concepts that are very commonly discussed in economics. And every, every person, every layman also experiences that the value of money decreases over time, generally when there is inflation. Inflation is something which is defined as the gradual increase in the prices of uh, goods, commodities, and services. And hence, when the prices go up, the value of money goes down in terms of its purchasing power. But do we consider that in time value of money? Why we do not or why we do consider it? This is again a question that needs to be answered. When we talk about time, we say that the value of money goes up with time. But there is another thing that we need to consider. That is, to get a higher future value, we need to forego the money today. Yani, aaj hum apna paisa invest karenge, to kal hume uske upar return ke saath zyada amount milegi. But the question is that we have to forego it today. And that means that the needs that can be fulfilled today with that money will not be fulfilled. So, considering the element of time, of course, there is a question that would you interested in foregoing your money today? And certainly the answer is only that money will be given or invested which is actually in excess of the requirement of a person or if we are referring to an organization or a corporation. And this is likely to get, it, get us more in the future. The element of inflation is something which is not as concrete in terms of the valuation because of several factors. When we talk about inflation, we have got different ways of calculating inflation. That is the decrease in the value of money in terms of its purchasing power. For example, we have got the consumer price index or we have got sensitive price index and other similar tools are used to calculate the purchasing power of money, but it is not as concrete as interest because in some ways, the value of money decreases more by using the other indicators of inflation, we have got a lesser decrease in the value of money. So the simple answer for the students is that while going through the basic calculations of time value of money, we do not incorporate the factor of inflation. But can we calculate the value considering inflation? Yes, later we'll talk about uh, a formula that will help us to calculate the value by adjusting the inflation factor. 
that if there is a particular level of inflation in terms of percentage, then we can calculate the adjusted values, but that will be discussed later. Uh, as I've just mentioned that inflation is not directly related to the time value of money, so the remaining discussion is all about interest. So interest rate, the time period for which the interest is applied, the amount on which the interest is applied are basically the discussions which will be there in time value of money. How this rate is applied, how frequently the rate is applied, on which amount this rate of interest is applied. And this is something which gives us different values in the future and also with reference to uh, the present value. So the discussion of time value of money and its importance uh, in financial management is in terms of calculating the interest and then adding or subtracting that amount of interest from the future value or the present value and then reaching to the other value and then be in a position to compare the decision. We use time value of money to make right decisions. A very important element that must be there in the minds of all the students all the time who are learning financial management is that financial management is actually about optimizing the returns, optimizing the profits. And that is a rational behavior that is considered in financial management, meaning that we always see that how can we maximize our profits? How can we maximize our returns? How can we maximize the value of our wealth? So this uh, time value of money or mathematics of finance actually helps us in determining that whether we are getting any increase in our wealth or if we are getting some increase in wealth, so what one, which one of the two or three options is actually optimizing our wealth or providing us maximum return? So this discussion of time value of money is actually about interest, its calculations, its application on the principal amount and with reference to time.